we wanted to make for lovers only many many years ago but the technology wasn't there and we, the smallest format that you could probably get away with stealing shots was either going to be 16 or super 16 and even a super 8 format that would get us where we wanted to go well with the approach of the 5d um, with with Canon, we were able to now get the technology, <coughs> and it, we were at that crossroads where the independent filmmaker and the te technology came together at the right time. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're actually uh, reliving what the music industry went through, which is they put the equipment in the musicians' hands, and they put the distribution in the in the uh, in their own hands, and so we're now experiencing that in the filmmaker level level which is really important because you're starting to see the same thing with the technologies catching up with the distribution of the technology with the bandwidth being able to distribute movies over the internet everything is starting to come together where it's going to be this it is a sense of a revolution where um, there's going to be no excuse to make just like there was no excuse to make music and make an album and put it out there's going to be no excuse to make a movie and put it out the same way shoot it yeah shoot it just shoot it I mean, I mean that, I've always thought you know that no matter where the technology is no matter what you know, you have your hands, it's always concentrate on your voice and your story. And that's what's going to ultimately rise and get people's attention, regardless of any kind of money or financing or, you know, talent you have attached. People choose stories that, that are difficult and they're either they're political or there's a subject matter that just needs to be explored and independent film is the way to do it. And without organizations like FIND, we don't have other places to go and it's a cl close-knit group that is always going to be around and we've always tried to harbor that.